Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Christine, this is Mr. Bangles, and that means you're watching Hobbit's Corner. Thank you so very much for stopping by the channel. I thought we would spend some time opening this jewelry jar that I purchased from a thrift store called The Giving Closet. It was originally $50. Nope, sorry, it was $20. They say it has a $50 value. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look and see what's inside. Looks like there's some good stuff in there. So let's get started. Hope everyone had a good day today. The week is just flying by. Oops. <clears throat> let's pull some of this stuff out here. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. This is a watch. It says Orlean Quartz. Japan movement. This is quite a nice watch, actually. I like this band. Face is a little worn. There's something written on the inside of the uh, band here. It says Speedo USA. It's actually quite nice. It's a cute little watch. Okay, moving on. Here's another one, more modern. Uh, water resistant, it's teal, china parts, china assembly. It's a cute little watch though. Probably just needs a battery. It's got this uh, cute black plastic stretchy gunmetal. Just needs to be restrung. Very big, very big piece. Oh, we got a pair of earrings here. Those are cute. Different wood and metal clip ons. Those are neat. Got a cute little Winnie the Pooh. Disney pin. It's cute. This is another clip on earring. It's really big. Maybe we'll find the other one. It's got some look like uh, aluminum rings, maybe. Different colors. So those are kind of cute. They got that little diamond etched cut in there and one is green and one is uh, pink. Those are cute. Got a How Does Your Garden Grow keychain. Virginian finest, Virginian stock finest mixed. Carter's tested seeds. Looks kind of cute. Oh, this is a little charm, a little bunch of grapes. Looks like this piece of metal. Some gold tone. Kind of tube chain. A little bit worn in some spots. Still in good condition though. It's pretty. Let's put that up. Diamonds International. A well loved charm bracelet. Some of the charms are not too bad. Got like a hat, pineapple, dolphins, seahorse, shell, and a lizard. And what looks like a manta ray. Neat, very aquatic theme. Here's another Diamonds International. This is a plain one. That's in better shape. We've got some pooched chain here. Seen better days. Got another chain here. This is quite nice. Two different types. Got that thin one and then bigger, like a paper clip chain. 
It's in good condition. It's another chain. This is in good condition too. We've got some chains we can work with with some pendants. This is this is Disney. And it says I love you, Leia, and Star Wars. That's cute. It's like a best friends, but Star Wars. <clears throat> this says Cuba. It's like a souvenir piece. Plastic wire wrap. Got quite a few Cuba pieces. Ooh, we do have both of these. So we've got these big clip-ons. Those are really big, like they fit in the palm of my hand. Wow. And we've got some hoop earrings, gold ones, pretty good condition. This is interesting. This is like a wire Bracelet pinched off with crimp beads and some cute little rhinestone spacer beads. This actually is quite flexible. Feels nice. I never thought of making bracelets with just the wire. That's cute. Very pretty. Made in China Disney keychain. 2014. Neat. It's neat when you take the time to look a little deeper at things. I love Dubai. I think somebody went there. Didn't love it that much. <laughs> it's a cute little marbled acrylic ring. It's pretty. I like that color. Looks like we got some more. Well, these look like they're wine charms. Yeah. So they're all tangled up and everything. So these these little hoops were wine charms. So we've got a wine glass that looks like bread and cheese. And then, I don't know, flour maybe. Craft with those. We've got some cute earrings. A little cancer ribbon on them. And might be aluminum or plastic. Hard to tell. They feel very lightweight, but they're cute. There's a, the other. So we've got all of these. This is a dolphin necklace. Again, another best friends necklace. That's an interesting dolphin. Some enameled painting on there. Well, this is pretty. Nice black rhinestones. I don't have a lot of black rhinestones. Oh, it's a tiny little brooch. It is broken though. Sorry if I keep going off camera. It's broken right there. But we could probably snip it and just make it smaller. Just have the dangly pieces and then fill the gaps. There's a, oh, this is a plastic clip on. Bright red. Here we have a costume dirty gold necklace with this star. Lots of chain. Stretchy. Got a big M. Kind of ombre look. Nice chain. Again, another chain we can use. I think that's like four we found in here. <clears throat> What's this? This looks like it might be that alpaca. Oh, what a shame. It's missing some of its uh, inlay. We could uh, smack it all out and 
redo it. It's quite nice. It's very lightweight. I don't know. It might be silver. I'll have to clean it up. We'll have to maybe craft with that. Okay. This is cute. Very cute little diamond cut metal bracelet with some beads. That's really pretty. Good condition. Got a hand pendant. Gold tone. Cute. Here is a locket. It's kind of called an abstract flower. This reminds me of the ones that you could get at Michael's in a kit. You can put them together yourself. Nothing in it. It's on a nice chain too. It's in good condition. A lot of lockets. another chain this one says best oh that is so cute that little cupcake very pretty chains in good condition lots of best friend pieces here's an earring it's pretty Some pearls and rhinestones hopefully we find the other one and what is this this is obviously the back Oh, this is interesting. It's missing pearls. Missing pearls there. Missing some rhinestones. It needs a lot of work. It has this. I like this piece here. Definitely needs some work. Don't think there's a name on this side. There's something written right here. Kramer? K-R-A-M-E-R? -E Kramer? Never heard of it. Other than on Seinfeld. Oh, there, see, one of the stones just came out. I gotta save that. And they're yellowed, so I think it needs a... <laughs> and then a pearl just came off. Um definitely needs to be restored but I think that would be a nice project they're pretty and was probably really beautiful in the next day and we got a cufflink standard no mark in it looks like it's missing something from the top okay I'm not sure why we have a bread tie in here Hopefully it's, mm, I don't know what this is. It's just a bracelet held together, a bread tie. It's a little pear charm. I guess you have wine with pears. This is cute. It's like a little ball chain, bird pendant, little tassels on that antique finish. This is nice. Gold. I like the chain. Oh, there is a clasp right here. Couldn't find it. This is really pretty. It's got some nice colored stones in it, too. Very long. I really like that. Good shape. Got some vintage looking clip on earrings. So cute. Two of them. They look a little. This, yeah, this one's shifted. You can see it's weird. It's been bent. But we have both of them. We've got a corded acrylic blue bobbly necklace. 
pretty. This is pretty well worn. The leaf. Oh my god, these cute bracelets. These are really pretty. I like the bling on them. Looks like everything's there. They're really cute. Lightweight. I really like those. We have got a pocket rosary. St. Teresa. A little bit of the... I think that's like supposed to be the blood or something. I don't know. And this is a well-loved heart bracelet. Got a kind of another Ashlani earring. This is cute. It's got a nice clasp on it. It's got this pendant right there. It's really pretty. And it has something written on the back of it. Let's see what it says. It says Sorrento Sterling. Very cool. And this one is missing all of its rhinestones. I don't see any mark in it anywhere. And this is the cutest little Bible. Isn't that cute? Let's just check the chain. The chain is definitely not silver. And that pendant might be what's inside there, but that says it's silver. So we got some silver. And a cute little needs to be cleaned. <clears throat> Just dump everything out. That's it for the jar. There's our other clip on. So we got both of those. Here's another set. Really cute blue. Look more modern. And we've got Um, this cute bracelet here looks like it's missing stuff here and this would be a really good opportunity for me to take all those um, cameos and the resin things that I purchased and redo this with those might do that Ooh, and we have the other earring do we have the other one or is this the same one? I don't think this is the same one. Where'd it go? I think we have both of these now. Oh, it's hiding. There it is. We do. We have both of them, which is nice because they're really pretty. We have both of those. We have a Jurvansky Cancer Center Foundation tie clip. We have this cute little gold heart earring. Oh, the other one is in here. Um, and they say Monet. Nice. And they say Monet in there. Cool. So I think that's like my third pair of Monets now. These are in really good shape, though. Those are cute. Oh, I got these big clip ons. They've got a name in them, too. And whoops, it's upside down. Let's see if we can see who it is. It says R. <laughs> right, I'm not going to be able to read that one, my friends. This one says R.J. Grazian, Grazanio. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Those are cool. There is the other cufflink that looks like it is missing something from the top. We've got another chain here. Bow chain, really, really yellow. There's some more charms. This is just a well-loved eternity ring. Here we have these cute little earrings. Those are cute. Little discs. We've got another pair of the 
Cancer ribbon earrings here. Oh, these have red on them. Those are cute. Nice. Two pairs of those. And then we've got this. Oh, look at this. This is cute. This is a Christmas necklace. Oh, look at that. It's got some trees. Some cute beads on it. Very lightweight. That's very pretty. Very pretty. It's this one. This is another necklace, like a choker. Intricately beaded. Cool. Oh, what's this? Looks like a bracelet. Looks old. Wow, look at that. There's the class. It even has the safety uh, chain on it. That is very cool. Reminds me of the jingle bracelet that I found, only it's not jingling. Is there anything written on it? There's something written right there. And it says sterling. Oh, this is old. I wonder if there's a mark on it anywhere. This is really cool. Well, look at that. I think this is an older sterling silver bracelet. The fact that it says sterling, and it even has that lovely little... This was well worth it. So pretty. It's made to look like it's got, like, stones in it, but it's the metal is cut that way. I love it. That's a great find. Whoop, whoop. Gotta love it when you find stuff like that. Here we have a well-loved, cute little bow. You can use that in another piece. Did I just see another? Yeah, we've got some crystal. Oh, those are pretty. Some crystal stud earrings. Purple, the change color. Those are really nice. And, oh, there's our other echelon earring. Those are really pretty. I like those. By the Southwesty. Got a remember these rings? We used to get them in the plastic uh, bubble gum, like in the candy machines. You'd put your quarter in, and these rings would come out. Oh, I used to bug my mom to buy me those. I beg her, beg her, beg her. This one says mother. Oh, the daughter must have the other one. Lots of these in this bag. And our last two pieces in this bag are these two. This is really pretty. What's this? Um, this looks fairly new. This says, what does it say? This says Avon. Hmm. In really good shape. Let's take a look. We'll pull it off here. It's all tangled. Oh my goodness me. Remember in my last video, uh, it took me like 45 minutes to untangle uh, the stuff I found in the last jar. So hopefully this one piece doesn't give me that much of a headache. Okay. So I got it untangled and this is what it looks like. It's a double strand, really pretty, really nice green teardrop kind of beads on a nice bright silver chain. It's in really good condition. I don't think anyone ever wore it. And the last piece, which I neglected, I just threw it off the board, <laughs> is this double strand, really unique uh, wooden and plastic beaded necklace. But look at those beads. Those are different. Three-dimensional, really neat. 
nice black chain. So this is really good too, good condition. So let's recap. Hello. This is a really awesome find. I like this necklace as well. This one I think is going to give me a run for my money uh, to repair, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot and uh, probably upcycle it to look completely different. I really like these earrings. I like this watch. I might see if a battery fits in it. I'll clean it up. I'd wear that myself. I really like um, <laughs> these bangles. I love the bling on them and the color. I think these are really cool too. Those cute little earrings. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, recycle this. I love taking uh, old pieces and turning them into something new. These earrings are really cute. I'm not a really big earring wearer. I usually wear studs, but those are pretty. I'd wear those out. Definitely uh, like anything that's brand new, and it is Avon, which I tend to gravitate to. Um, these really cute earrings, these studs, and I think that might be it. Yeah, I think so. This thing. I'm going to clean this all out, and then I'm going to do something with this as well in a crafting project. Well, everybody, <clears throat> I hope you uh, like this video. Uh, hope you have a really fabulous rest of the week, and until next time, everyone, take care of yourselves.